augmented instincts. And this one in particular is actually a prototype that we developed in four nights. Primarily there was three of us, uh, two artists in the program, we also had a bit of a help from uh, animators and audio guys along the way. Um, but yeah, essentially we wanted to just kind of see how well people would interface in like a first person kind of up and slightly more complicated uh, like run around game. So essentially it's based in the near future uh, and you're playing as a forensic investigator, kitted out with like the latest technology. Um, and essentially you've been brought onto this uh, crime scene where a murder is taking place. Um, and essentially it's your job to kind of uh, go through and figure out what happened. There's an officer that you'll be interacting with throughout the game who essentially tells you what they think happened or what they know so far. But it's essentially your job to go over all the evidence again because they think they missed something. Um, and yeah, you go over using deduct uh, artificial deductive reasoning, which I'll explain in a second. Um, and essentially you go through uh, trying to figure out um, you know, what they missed. Two of the main mechanics we wanted to play around with. One of them is gestural recognition. So for example, when the officer is talking to you, um, you can answer by nodding or shaking your head. The other one is that there's two main vision modes. So there's the normal mode where you're just walking around the ground. There's no UI or HUD or anything. The second mode is the augmented mode. And essentially the easiest way for me to put this is it's like artificial deductive reasoning. The reason I say that is because Say you walk into a room and there's like a blood splatter on the ceiling, you go in there and you turn this augmented mode on and essentially you can um, you can go through different simulated positions that the body might have been in when it was stabbed. So you kind of try and figure out the trajectory of like the blood so it like lines up with the splatter more than so you're going through doing things like that, matching up DNA and fingerprints to try and like piece things together. Yeah, going through, and then you, you actually find out that there's you know a little more than uh, the officer first let on. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's, that's essentially. I think you said that quite a lot during your time here. Sorry? You said that quite a lot during your time here. Like you've kind of got your pitch down pat. Oh yeah, yeah. We've um we've been going hard out since we uh since we got here yesterday morning. Like the hours here are pretty hardcore, but um yeah we've had people there's been like other than the one hour gap uh, that we get for lunch, there has been essentially no time where we haven't had someone playing it. Earlier today we had a 32 person line. So that was that was awesome. It's awesome to see. Um, I mean I brought this out here because I really just want to kind of get the technology out there, show people that have had a chance to experience it. Most of the time people see it, it's very kind of black box, you know, no one's really allowed to lose it, uh, use it. So I've just kind of brought it out here. There's actually some other guys that are uh, doing some work stuff that are also here. But yeah, I've just brought it out here, just kind of have to get it out there, make it a bit more open. Yeah. And you're a former student of AIE or still current study? Yeah, so I'm still, I'm, I'm technically I'm a postgraduate. I'm in the third year, so I'm in the incubator program. Um, I went through the art course, I'm an environmental artist and a level designer. Um, so I just went through, I started very young actually, I started when I was 15, um, doing, I did the certificate too and then I used that as a prerequisite to get into the full-time course, did the full-time course and now I'm doing uh, the graduate diploma in business and management. So essentially, yeah, the incubator program, they set you up in office space, computers, um, yeah, they, for example, they uh, hooked us up the tickets here, they flew us over the packs. So basically they give you a company, you yeah, run yeah, with it. Yeah, so they, they really like help you in the world. So you recommend it to everybody then? Oh, absolutely. When I was, um, like, to be as unbiased as I can be while standing in the AIE booth, before I started AIE, I looked around the competition, so uh, Quantum, um, yeah, what's it called, JMC, and some other ones. And yeah, I chose uh, AIE just because it's got a very, very open, very friendly vibe. Like, it's a very family kind of feeling. It's really cool. Everyone is very happy to talk, very open. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's very welcoming. Especially for like someone who's like young. The prototype or, we have here is built in Unity? Yes, yeah, so the game we're, we're, we're running is also built and in Unity. You like using it? Yeah, oh, it's, Unity is a fantastic engine, especially for indies. A lot of people tend to think that there's a lot of things that are already done, and like when you compare it to older engines, Gamebryo, Torp, things like that, it, they're absolutely right. But it's a very, you go in there, you have a blank slate, and you can just build up. I've used other engines like CryEngine, Unreal, things like that. And whilst those are also fantastic engines, it's very they're very oriented for certain things. So Unreal is a first person shooter for Unreal tournament, things like that. So yeah, it's very hard to kind of mold it into something you want. There's a lot of games around here that have been developed for Unity. It's, it's a fantastic engine. What future aspirations for it? Do you intend to sell this game? Um, no, not selling. This is going to be freeware. Um, so I do, I would like to work on this further. We actually recently got a approach for a possible contract. Uh, nice. for defense and whatnot, but um, depending on how things go in the future, we're currently in a state of limbo at the moment, we're actually a very new studio, but um, yeah, I would love to keep working on this, we also have other game ideas that we want to try uh, on the Rift, so this was as I said, this was four nights of work, so that's interesting, uh, four or five. Which is brilliant for four nights. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, so, it's, yeah, it'll be amazing to see, like, if, if given the time, what we can do when we sit down for six months and just work yeah. on things like, we have, we have crazy adventure ideas and space games and racing and 
Yeah, it's and he, uh, Glenn, uh, one of the other artists over there behind you, um, he, he did the character art in the game as well, some of the props. Um, yeah, he has like this crazy idea. We're looking forward to it. Hope it goes well for you, Blair. Yeah, thank you very much. It's going well so far, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.